Coming up on today's episode of PSVR News. No Man's Sky brings the eggs and we've got a potential update on Horizon Zero Dawn coming to virtual reality. All this and more on PSVR News. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to Petrifying Pumpkins, the YouTube channel dedicated to PlayStation virtual reality content. Before we begin, perhaps you can consider and hit the like button, subscribe, whatever, if you enjoyed us. With that out of the way, let us begin starting with the top story, the headline act, Horizon Zero Dawn. Potentially Horizon Zero Dawn, but even if it's not Horizon Zero Dawn, something interesting. So let's just hop right into it. So, the story comes from PushSquare.com, and they say job listings renew speculation regarding Virtual Reality Horizon spin-off. So, this is all thanks to the studio Fire Sprite listing job listings, a bunch of them. So what's interesting about this is that we've heard in the past rumors about Horizon Zero Dawn coming to Virtual Reality. In fact, I just met a video about that less than a week ago saying, hey, you know, this rumor still exists, don't forget about us. But back then, that rumor, which came from a gentleman called Callum Hurley, that was all speculation based on Sony's London studio working on us. So that's kind of completely changed now, thanks to Fire Sprite coming in. So we don't know if that's, you know, a changeover has happened. Maybe Sony have decided not to go with this in in-house and they've outsourced fire sprite to work on this if that's what it is all speculation of course so fire sprite the studio behind playstation viewer surprisingly enjoyable survival horror roguelice the persistence is recruiting a string of new staff for virtual reality action adventure project adapted from one of the most original and successful multi-million selling console ip titles in the last 10 years now that's a bit of a mouthful, however, it is full of interesting information. So whatever this game is, it is a virtual reality action adventure project. It is adapted from one of the most original and successful multi-million selling console IP titles in the last 10 years. And this next part here is previous job listings have referred to a multi-million selling action RPG. So we can put these three key pieces of information together. First part, a VR action adventure project. Now that is still very vague, very, you know, whatever, could be anything. However, the fact that it's virtual reality, obviously of interest to us. The next part is that it's adapted from one of the most original and successful multi-million selling console IP titles in the last 10 years. So we've got, you know, basically the teens from 2010 to 2020 or, you know, 2011 to 2021, whatever, apparently, this game is based on an IP that released in that time and sold multi-million units. Now, does that line up with Horizon Zero Dawn? Absolutely, it does, 100%. Horizon Zero Dawn, I believe, came out in 2017, and it has gone on to sell millions and millions. And it was a brand new IP, so that counts for the original part, and it was successful. So that all lines up there, especially when you add in the third key piece of information is that it's multi-million selling action RPG. So I guess those two pieces of information kind of conflict with each other. So action adventure and on the one hand, and then this other list and said action or PG. I would say that Horizon, you could call us action adventure and you could call us action or PG. So maybe both of those genres do apply to us. Maybe they're not clashing in the way that maybe you might think. And the fact that they say that it is a console IP you know, I mean, it doesn't outright say that it's exclusive to a PlayStation or that it's Sony owned or something like that, but it kind of hints the fact that they say console IP, that it wasn't on PC. Now, a little bit of contradiction here because Horizon actually did eventually go to PC. Like when you think of Horizon, you think of PlayStation 4, or at least I do. There's a bunch of games that could probably fit that description that came out in the last 10 years. You know, I mean, God of War could probably fit in that description too. So it's entirely possible that the Sony London team are actually still working on Horizon Zero Dawn in virtual reality or Horizon spin-off in virtual reality. Meanwhile, Fire Sprays are working on something else. Something maybe God of War. I don't think it'll be God of War, but you know, something. Might not even be a Sony exclusive IP, just some big game that was successful, came out in the last 10 years. So we got some further details down below. So the advertisement for the lead producer position elaborate this is an exceptionally exciting project 
partnering with the IP holder to create a whole new chapter in the exciting and highly original universe they have established. Utilizing the full immersive capabilities in virtual reality to build a new narrative for fans and newcomers alike. So again, not giving us more details really, uh, other than you know you're partnering with the you're partnering up with the IP holder, which could be Sony in this case. Again, speculation. Uh, the only other thing you could maybe glean from this little bit of information is that it perhaps narrative based. The fact that they mentioned the story, the narrative, so that could be important. So, Push Square go on to say, while there are no further details in the description, the wording is fascinating because it was rumored over a year ago that Sony was exploring the possibility of a Horizon Zero Dawn spin-off built within virtual reality. At the time, Blood and Truth developer London Studios was believed to be leading the project, but given its relatively small size, it wouldn't be unusual for it to recruit external support. However, it's worth noting that, as pointed out, London Studio has since removed any references to PlayStation Virtual Reality from its website, suggesting its direction may have changed over the past year. That is something I did notice when I was looking at the PlayStation's Sony London studio when I was going through their job listings for the last video I did on the uh, three rumored games. I just thought that maybe they didn't want to mention virtual reality because you don't necessarily need, you know, virtual reality experience to make virtual reality games. If you got experience 3D modeling in a flat game, then that's just as valuable for a virtual reality game. So I would be pretty saddened if it's true that Sony London Studios has moved away from virtual reality support, I don't think that will be the case. If a PSVR 2 is a thing that Sony are working on, then I think they do want to keep Sony London as their virtual reality studio, uh, just so they can have something ready for when that thing launches, if, if it comes out next year or the year after. And that's not to say that they can't put out a flat game before then, you know? They could make a quick flat game, and then once that's out, work on another virtual reality game. It's all complete speculation, very hard to tell. So whatever the case, the Fire Sprite job listings are vague enough that they could be attributed to a dozen other franchises, which is the problem, that is true. So that's it for the article on PushSquare.com by Sammy Barker, by the way, I should have said that sooner. So I checked over the PS Viewer subreddit to see what they were saying about that, and I spotted this post here by user Fastest Finger. So he posted this and he said he titles as Inside Fire Sprites as they work on whatever it is they're working for PSVR. And he posted this image. So I'm not sure where he got this image. I'm not sure the source of this image, but it appears to be a picture taken within the Fire Sprite Studios. I don't know when it was taken, uh, but it appears to be a bunch of developers and they're looking at their work, whatever it is, and a bunch of computer screens that are blurred out to hide whatever it is they're working on. Even zooming in, having a look around. I'm having a very difficult time trying to make out anything. The only thing on this screen here is that you can make out a character and it kind of looks like maybe they're holding a helmet in one of their hands and a bright orange helmet. Uh, doesn't really line up with anything I could think of from Horizon. Boss might not even be a bright orange helmet. It's blurred out, it's hard to tell, it could be anything. The other thing I noticed was this book on the table here, Boss. I can't even read the words on the spine of the book because it's just too blurry. So I will put a link to this picture in the description. If any of you out there have got your CSI crime scene investigation, you know, enhancers and whatever, and you can zoom in and de blur things, maybe you can gleam a bit of information. Maybe you can solve the clues that are on display here, if there are any clues on display, and figure out what it is Fire Sprite are working on next. So the next thing I want to talk about is the Companions update for No Man's Sky, which is already out. This update just dropped out of nowhere. You can download this and what this update will do is basically it will allow you to gather pets in No Man's Sky. You can get eggs. I think you can like ride bigger creatures. There's all kinds of crazy things going on there. Completely free as with all the other No Man's Sky updates. This game is the game that keeps on giving despite its disastrous start. I mean, you cannot mention No Man's Sky without bringing up how badly it launched, but it's safe to say they've made up for those early mistakes by just constantly supporting this game and giving players just value and, you know, care and love and attention, etc, etc. So yeah, if you're a big No Man's Sky player, VR, flat, whatever, go out, check out this update. It is completely free and it is out right now. Get yourself some pets 
you know, maybe in the next update we'll be able to battle them like Pokemon. Wouldn't that be cool? And that is it for this episode of PS VR News. Thank you very much for watching. Before I go, let me thank my Patreon supporters whose names are on the screen as we speak. Thanks to their support, they're helping keep this channel nice and moist. In particular, let me shout out the top tier Patreon supporters, Tradition. Pete Hawkins, Crumb, Chopped 517, Columbus Thomas III, Daniel the Pumpkin Patch Kid. Thank you very much for that support. It is very much appreciated. If you would like to help out over on patreon.com forward slash petrifying pumpkins, you can do so. Link in the description below. But if not, I'd be happy with the likes, comments, shares, you know, subscribes, all the usual YouTube shite. Finally, before I go, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. Thank you very much, Decepticon. You can find him at decepticon.com. Link to him also in the description. With that, I'll end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, lads and ladies, please stay moist. Next part is that it's adapted from one of the most original, just bit my fucking thumb.